Hi there, welcome to my cruise ship cabin. Come on in. Welcome, my name is Christy. I'm a professional dancer and singer on cruise ships, but this is not a typical dancer cabin. If you stick around towards the end of this video, I will be doing another tour of a crew cabin. This here is an officer cabin. I am immensely lucky to be living and working with my husband who is an officer here on board. He is the entertainment director. So this is an officer cabin. Starting out to my right and your left, we have Jason's office space. So he lives and works in the same space, which is absolutely wild. This cabin square footage is 240 square feet. I just measured it. And that is not all living space. Some of it is restroom and storage space, etc. So this is his office, so I will come in sometimes from the gym and there will be meetings being held in my house. <laughs> I've taken the liberty of hiding all of the company secrets that he has magnetized to the wall for our tour today, but that does bring me to the point that all of the walls on cruise ships are magnetized, which is really handy when you're trying to decorate and you'll see later on in our tour that I definitely make use of my fair share of magnets. Jason Jason has some Star Wars and Transformers memorabilia, so we always love making the office space a little more fun. And I've definitely taken over my fair share of the cabinets because this is my pantry. I have everything stored in here as much as we love free food on a cruise ship. Sometimes it's really nice to have a late night snack right here at the ready. We like to keep Doritos, we keep salt in here, I keep tea, oh, and I have a huge a huge embarrassing amount of Cadbury's chocolate. <laughs> This is the door where we just came from. And as you can see, we have our snoozing sign ready to go. We do have a cabin steward, which is a huge blessing. We love our cabin steward. So just like any guest in a stateroom, if we are taking a nap and don't need our cabin steward to come in, we'll pop that snoozing sign out there. And then also above that is the evacuation plaque. So basically we have these drills all the time to make sure we're prepared for an emergency. And someone will come into every single cabin during a drill to make sure that it's evacuated. Once they make sure it has been evacuated, they will stick that sign out on the front of the door. So we have to just make sure that's there for them at all times. And I have to point out this pumpkin glass from Anthropology. I have been eyeing it for so, so long, but it sold out on the website. And we were in Belfast, Ireland the other day and we stumbled upon Anthropology. And I turned to Jason and I was like, would this not be the funniest thing if they had this glass in stock in Ireland in anthropology and lo and behold they had it. So this is definitely the most unhinged purchase I've made because I don't know how I'm going to get it home. I'm just going to wrap it up a lot and pray over it and hope that it makes it home without shattering but honestly I'm glad I made the purchase. <laughs> this is the sitting room office reception area. I'm not really sure what to call it, but this is definitely where I spend most of my time. I am so proud of this postcard wall that I have going on right here. So we have collected a postcard from every single port that we've been to this contract. This contract has been so special and unique in the sense that we have been going to so many ports that I know I will never return to again. So collecting something light <laughs> that won't be heavy to bring home has been so important to me. So we decided on postcards and also art and I packed away the art already, but the postcards I put on the wall here magnetized and I also have written everything we've done that day on the back of the postcard so it's almost like a living breathing diary. We have collected a few magnets as you see here but I was really trying to not go crazy with magnets because those get really heavy really really fast so these were just the standout ports that really meant something to us and there's also magnets from past contracts as well. This is Jason's trunk that I have tried to hide not so well, but I did throw a blanket over it and pillows on top. All of the cruise directors and entertainment directors get their own designated trunk so they can put their uniforms and anything else they need for their job in this trunk to send to their next ship, which is super handy. I can't lie, I've thrown a few things in this trunk as well, but it's such an eyesore, so I tried to make it a little cuter. I also like to sit on the trunk when we're sailing away and look out the window. I just discovered that 
this console table lifts up and it's storage. I could have used that a few months ago, but oh well. <laughs> I got this glass in Spain and I use it for fresh flowers. I'm so glad they allow fresh flowers on board. So I usually have a bouquet from whatever recent port we visited. I haven't recently as you can see, but hopefully tomorrow or the day after I'll be getting some flowers. These are battery operated candles. We're not allowed to have a live flame on board. So I have these battery operated ones and they're not quite the same, but it's okay. I'll make do. I collected some seashells from various places and then this is my Oscar for social media queen <laughs> we have different crew events monthly and last month was the crew Oscars and I got the Oscar for social media queen so thank you so much for the Oscar I take my role very very seriously <laughs> These fake little plants have lasted me for a few contracts now. I love them so much. Their pot has cracked quite a few times, but I just hot glue it back together and hope for the best. But a recent addition is our troll. We named him Espen and we got him in Norway. He's supposed to look after us and bring us some good luck. And we also got him a fairy door in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Restroom is here. I'll show you that a little bit later. We'll head now into the bedroom. As you'll see from the footage of my crew cabin a little bit later on, you'll know that having a bedroom with its own door is such a crazy luxury. Welcome to the bedroom. It's not much, but it's home. I have my favorite stuffed animal, my sleepy figment, hanging out here on the bed. I added these fairy lights and this light up H against the wall here, which I think are a super sweet touch. I went through a needlepoint phase recently so I made these behind me is a porthole although we do keep it shut because in the morning the light streams in and wakes us up so the porthole is pretty permanently shut across the wall here is a TV which we honestly rarely use because we watch everything on our laptop and then we've got our storage right here we have two cabinets totaling four doors of storage this is what one of mine look like there's a decent amount of storage and everything else is pretty simple more. You can see I wear a whole lot of pink. And above my head, we have two life jackets. Fire Patrol come by and make sure that we have these life jackets and they're in proper order in case of an emergency. All right, let's head into the restroom. Our ship recently went through dry dock, which means they refurbished portions of the ship. And I was lucky enough that our restroom got refurbished so it is freshly done i really love the tiling on the floor we got a new shower which is absolutely gorgeous having a glass shower is just peak bougie energy normally it's a shower curtain well that completes the tour of this cabin let's go check out the cabin i'm normally in when jason isn't here so this is a very typical crew cabin on cruise ships. And as you can see, it holds two people. This is the kind of cabin that I stay in when Jason isn't on board. This is my friend's cabin. She was moving out that day, signing off the ship. So I got to pop in and film a pretty empty cabin. As you can see, you have to split everything down the middle. So even though there are four doors of closet space, you're going to have to share with your roommate. So you get two doors for yourself, one is a shelving door and the other one is a hanging closet door and that stuff fills up so fast because you also have to factor in suitcase storage as well. There's a desk that barely gets used and a tiny refrigerator. The restroom is so, so, so tiny. And we always joke that you could use the restroom, shower your leg and wash your hands all at the same time. <laughs> and the shower curtain always gets stuck to you when you're showering, unfortunately. And that is the crew cabin. Thank you so much for joining me on both cabin tours. Feel free to like and subscribe if you are so inclined. I post a lot of ship content. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.